We're here now inside the bay. You're gonna head 240. We'll do some sort of organized search for the bay. Yep. Cool. The Sea Shepherds have less than 24 hours before they must leave the whaling sanctuary and turn back to refuel. In a last ditch effort, they scan the horizon for any sign of the Japanese fleet. Well, if they're not here, then who knows? Uh, we really don't know. I don't think it's in the cards for us to stick around too much longer. If they're there, we'll hit them and run. If they're not there, then we're kind of stuck and we have to, you know, head back. With little time left in their search, Paul receives a phone call with some shocking news. Yes. Off of what ship, sorry? Cushion Maru, yeah. There wasn't any Mayday put out. There's really no point in it. I mean, 50, 10 minutes in this water, you're dead. So they don't know if it was an accident or he committed suicide. Okay, thanks. Bye. The Kyoshin Maru uh, had a man overboard. I was doing an interview with a reporter from New Zealand who asked me about it. And I said I actually hadn't heard anything about it at that point. And what happened to him? They couldn't find him this morning. They searched the whole ship. Obviously, either committed suicide or fell. It would be the absolute worst, worst death. Fall in, you're pretty much dead. Are we looking for him? Well, I didn't hear it either. There was no mayday put up for him. But apparently, I want to know where that boat is. That's well, the one. where they are. Get a location. So, well, they're not putting out their location as to where they are. News of a man overboard spreads quickly amongst the crew. One of the uh, spotted ships. Yeah. Obviously, they had a man overboard. Really? Man, haven't found him yet. Wow. The Sea Shepherds now suspect they are in the vicinity of the whaling fleet. But as night falls and the fuel supply dwindles, they have yet to find them, and their window for action is drawing to a close. Now, I saw um, a very brief point of light from uh, down on the bridge, and I think I see something now as well. Hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can see something right on the horizon there. Do you see it? Jay, and you see something on radar? It's like a big ship now. 14 miles out? Good, all right. Whoa! Yeah, got it. That's okay. Yeah. Captain Watson is notified of the sighting. Ship on the port side, ship ahead. But the Sea Shepherds now face an ethical dilemma. The captain must now decide whether to strike the distressed fleet or turn around without a fight. That's up there, searchlight. And some new Shamaru. You know, the, the fact that they're they're looking for a body here is just really shocked. And it's it's only being done for the benefit of the families and everything. You cannot find a body in these waters. Can you get them, get everyone to get the boats uncovered quick? Okay. Yeah, and get suited up. We've just seen lights up ahead. We don't know what's going on. Below deck, the crew prepares for possible action. But some crew members have concerns. Um, I have a personal, pretty serious reservations about launching a confrontation. Are they moving very fast? Five knots. Obviously, they're looking for the little sailor. So I'm hoping we don't mess with them. And I'm really not too concerned about what people think about me or anything like that. That doesn't really matter. Our clients are whales. We're prepared to, uh, to launch the boat. Next time, 